It's not a suffusion, like but it's uh, There's like flies and shit in here from last night. What the fuck was that? Sorry. <laughs> I, I got you. See me get it though, right? Yeah, I know. Thank you. You're looking out for me. Looking out for Larry, my help. What did you think that was? Did you see it? Larry, you can get on the mic too. Get close. <laughs> Larry, please get on the fucking mic, bro. Did you see how I protected your client? So get close, bro. What are you doing? All right. You're so, you're so leery. What the fuck, bro? Relax. Oh, I haven't seen you since the sauna. Right? I know, the sauna. First of all, thanks for being on the show, for sure. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, when we first started talking about you going on the podcast, it was just you. That's right? right. And then you started throwing, like, you got Larry here. You got, like, are you scared? Like, I'm going <laughs> to, like, speak up, dude. You don't trust yeah. me, bro. What yeah. the fuck? I don't know what to do. You need a posse. Yeah. yeah. I, just, I like yeah. having noodles with me. Noodles is my bud. That's and right. We, uh, yeah. I'm his foil. This is foil, right? We now. do. No, we do. We do a lot of interviews together, and I like having him to riff off of and stuff. This isn't an interview. This is just me touching your penis for an hour. <laughs> no, I'm just <laughs> um, So before we get started into you know your guys' past and everything that's been going on, you know, for the last twenty something years, we've been bumping into each other recently at the at the Jews call it the Schwitz. Schwitz, right? So explain what that is. Tell people what it is and, and why you like to go there. Technically, it's a Russian banya, right? Right, Which right. Is a different kind of sauna or whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, we started touring, well, it's been forever now, so many years ago, and people would always say, well, why don't you just go in the sauna in the hotel? That's how I first started going because mm -hmm. I never even thought of it before. And I started kind of getting into it, like, oh, yeah, this is really nice. Want the people that are listening, we want them to experience it as well because I want For sure. I want you to tell them how important it is. I mean, you look awesome. Oh, I mean, thanks, yeah. You know, and that, he Good looks a little fresh. Look, <laughs> I'm a little hungover today, and I don't I don't do the schwitz you often don't enough. Do the schwitz, no. Yeah. But you know, you know, me and Dexter, we look good, bro. We're almost it's, sixty. Yeah, I know when people say, "Oh, go to the Russian bathhouse," it has a weird connotation, right? It's like people think it's. It's a gay thing. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but it's not like that at all. No, but Depending you on the place you go. tell your friends go. and you say, hey, I'll, I'll, you know, I, they're like, let's hang out. And you're like, I can't. I'm going to the Russian bathhouse. <laughs> right. And they look at you like you're fucking like, crazy. Like, what's going on? Yeah. Like you're getting jerked off or something, but it's not yeah, like that. It's not. Well, yeah. because I see you there. You're like, you know, we look at each other and we're like, dude, this is awesome. We're like, there's but this who bond, else does like, this? Yeah. <laughs> I should know. I should know it would be Polly Shore showing up, right? Yeah. Of course. It, no, it's 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 great. So, yeah, anyone out there listening, if you're into health and you're into taking care of yourself, it, it, you know, it's you know, the generic version is a sauna or a steam room. I remember when I first asked you to do Polly Shore is Dead. I asked me in the movie and I was so stoked. And, you know, I, I, a lot of my friends are big fans of you, and I'm like, this is gonna be great. And I shot this scene, and I'm not an actor. I didn't do a fantastic job, but I thought, well, he's getting a lot of non-actors, musicians and stuff in it. And so the next time I saw you, I'm like, oh, how'd it turn out? And you're like, dude, it's great, man, it's fucking so great. You're in like the the extras. <laughs> like, I didn't make it you in the movie. Cut. I got, Some I people got cut. got cut out of the extras though, so that was cool. So really, I did good, I guess. Really? Right? That had nothing Not, to do with your performance. That had okay. to do with pacing. Glad we finally straightened this all out after all yeah. this last ten years. I've been yeah. bummed, thinking you know you didn't yeah. like what I did. Yeah. No. 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 It was fucking awesome. I think my favorite part about that is while you're going to the extra. To, to explain the scene that you do with Dexter, mm -hmm. you're in bed with, I think, both the Hilton sisters, right? Mm -hmm. And you're yeah, trying yeah. to explain to them who Dexter is, uh -huh. and they, they have no clue. <laughs> oh, right, <laughs> right, 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 right. Oh, yeah, and Dexter from The Offspring. Who's that? He's, <laughs> he's, a, he's, a, uh, um, he's the... He's from The Offspring? Yeah, he's the same. You, you like The Offspring? That's from Orange County? No. No? I don't You're not right. familiar? Oh, no. No? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Check yeah, it out. It's no wonder. That's why I'm in the extras. Yeah. Right, exactly. Okay. Let's check it out. Okay, we're going to check it out. You guys enjoy. This is uh, Dexter from the Offspring scene from the gas station. Hello? What? Oh, I'm just waiting for the credit card to clear in there. So, uh, so tell me, what year is this? No, wait, let me guess. A 73. It's a 69. Oh, right, right, right. But, uh, okay, well... What do you got under the hood? I bet you got a 283, right? It's a 383. 
man, look, if you're going to drive a car like this, you got to be willing to answer questions from anyone who might ask about it, okay? It's all original, jackass. Now get my card and get out of here and stop hovering over me. Me and my friend want to leave. So we're shooting something next month? Yeah. Is there a partner for me? Well, 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 Mr. Shore, it looks like your card's been declined. You're kidding. Do I look like I'm kidding? Nope. Who's a jackass now, jackass? You. So once again, thanks for sitting down with us here at the beautiful Roxy. Let's do a flashback and tell me about your experience and your feeling actually being in this fucking iconic room on the Sunset Strip. For us, being a punk band, it was really a scramble to find a place to play. There was no regular place you could go do Tuesday nights or whatever. So this was one of the places that we played the most, and it kind of came around and stuff. But like when I think of Offspring, I don't think punk rock. You guys are just mainstream. Like you guys got so, so many hits. Did you get a producer right. that you all of what? a sudden got to you guys that made your stuff a little bit more mainstream? Kind of like Rick Rubin do that with the Chili Peppers. It was Blood Sugar Sex Magic. For really sure. Right? Yeah, that got him more was mainstream. Rick. Was that Rick? Yeah. yeah. Okay. We worked with Tom on our first three records. Tom Wilson. For sure. He was just trying to get us to play better. So I guess he did. I guess he did help us, right? So let's connect the tissue to the people listening. The first times we kind of realized that some of our stuff is gonna is gonna make a mark on pop culture was you on the Tonight Show, just out of out of the blue, said you got to keep them separated, and uh, and we're going, whoa! He just said that, you know. Yeah. Larry, where no the way. fuck is that my residual for the yeah. 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 You son of a bitch! He's not saying anything. I mean, you're like the Rolling Stones of like alternative. I mean, hits after hits after fucking hits. Right on, thank That's you. That's insane. High praise. It's yeah, fucking awesome. It. And then, what the fuck is so funny, dude? I grew up with these guys. These guys are great. <laughs> when people say, keep it separated to you, is that like your, I would say that's like, is that like your anthem song? Self-esteem, I think, is the that's one. How does that one go? Yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's that one. How does that go? <laughs> yeah. That's all I want. Yeah. Yeah, how does it go? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we blah, 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 blah. Yeah. <laughs> blah, 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 How does it go? How does it go, please? Yeah, I'm just a sucker with no self-esteem. Right? Read it. Yeah. What the fuck, yeah. dude? Don't stop. Yeah. I'm just a sucker with no self-esteem. Comedian, would you tell a joke? Right? Yeah, yeah, I'll what's, fucking what's, tell a what's joke. Your, what's your I biggest, don't care. What's one of your biggest? Hits? I'll only do a joke if you guys sing sing <laughs> some shit. Yeah, what is your biggest joke? Um, you know, nah, 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 nah. How's it go? Sing it. <laughs> I just want to jerk off and listen to him sing under the table. God, he's doing it. He's doing it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> sorry. sorry. Uh, we're going Have you seen show. Travolta at the spa? Have what? Have you seen John Travolta at the Schwitz? Oh, no. Yeah. He goes there? Yup. Wow. He goes there. People might not know this. You fly planes. Yeah. That's fucking sick. Yeah. It's our, it's so awesome. that's your hobby. It is, yeah. It's like my golf. Mm. So you're an actual, you have your license. Yeah. You have everything. You yeah. flew around the world. I did, yeah. That's yeah. insane. Noodles. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty... It's That's pretty impressive. Good. It's funny because he's looking at me thinking that I'm fucking with him. But I'm being... <laughs> Larry, I'm asking for real, dude. Just like I asked him to sing the fucking Larry. songs. And he didn't give me I'm, shit. I'm just glad I impressed you. That's, yeah. that's awesome. That's yeah. huge. That's yeah. fucking huge, yeah. dude. So you fucking yeah. fly planes, dude. Yeah. Let's yeah. tell us about that. I actually uh, tried to get in the Air Force Academy. And I almost got in. But they weren't going to let me fly because I had to wear glasses. You can't have that and fly. Wow. So I decided to forget that. I wasn't even allowed to join the Coast Guard and drive boats with my eyesight. <laughs> wow. Yeah, yeah that, but, yeah. you know, yeah, glasses you like Coke that. bottle glasses. Oh, absolutely. Really? Yeah. 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 So so how long you been flying and when did you, you went to flight school and stuff? Yeah, I learned to fly in Long Beach. When was that, in the 80s, 90s? What? It was right after the band took off. I could finally afford it. Ago. Wow. Yeah, yeah. and uh, I'm into it. So I just kind of kept on going. I eventually got more ratings and got a jet rating. And um, yeah. I don't want to compare you guys to Bon Jovi, but Bon Jovi is similar in a way, like where they're super 90s. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And 
they had these fucking massive hits uh-huh. and you know they went away for a while and they came back and and it's the same thing i mean I, to be honest it's with my stuff you know like oh people grew up with me and then i kind of went away and then those 40 50 year old people are like uh-huh. my fans are gnarly looking dude <laughs> you know, right? how gnarly are my fans tell them <laughs> my fans are obese you know what i mean ed o'neill was on Married with children yeah. for so many right, years, yeah. and then he switched over to Modern Family. Uh-huh. So you guys are like, you guys are like in the Modern Family part of That's your right. career. <laughs> That's right. Is that yeah. correct? I'll take it. I'll yeah. Take it. Yeah. yeah. Well, for thank sure. you guys for uh, thank you guys for sitting in with me, um, Dexter. I'll see you at the Schwitz. All right. Well, that's it, you guys. 